Sarah says, can my parents-in-law take the gold back they gave me on our wedding? Is it not my gold? What is the ruling on gold gifts given to me by his family members, such as his auntie's grandmother, on our wedding? My parents-in-law do not want to give me my gold even to keep. Would I still have to pay zakat on it? If they keep zakat, if they keep the gold, your gold, with them and prevent you from acquiring it, possessing it, or doing whatever you want with it, there's no zakat on you. However, I am uphold. I am totally shocked with what is coming to me through emails and phone calls from sisters, mainly from the subcontinent, where her parents-in-law, in association with her husband, sees her own gold given to her by her parents, sees her own dowry given to her by her husband, and they sees the gold that they gave her on the wedding nights and all the gifts that were given to her. And they lock it in their own room. And they only permit her to take a necklace or some bracelets here and there when she has a wedding or the likes. And they don't give her access to her own gold. And some of the brothers call me and say that, is this okay, we're safekeeping it, blah, blah, blah. I say to them, you, that is the husband, and your parents are crooks. You are thieves. You have to be ashamed of yourself. How dare you take someone's money without his permission and keeping it and preventing them from doing whatever they want? Sheikh, she might sell it. She might do something wrong with it. It's none of your business. It is her gold. She decides to give it all to her father. This is her gold. She decides to give it in charity to build the masjid. It's none of your business. You are thieves and crooks. Sheikh, we gave her the gold on the wedding night as an investment so that we can utilize it later on for our granddaughters, etc. This is a big lie. You know that. I know that. You gave her the gold as a gift, but now you're keeping it with you. The Prophet described you, alayhi salatu wasalam, beautifully. Do you know what he said? He said, whoever gives a gift and retracts it, takes it back, he has the, the similitude. He has the example of a dog vomiting. Then the dog comes and eats its vomit. This is your example given by the Prophet ﷺ. How dare you give a gift and take it back or claim that, no, it wasn't a gift. We're just lending her the money or lending her the gold. How dare you take her dowry and prevent her from using it or utilizing it as she wishes? Wallahi, I feel sorry for such wives living among such crooks, thieves who don't have shame in their face. And then if you look at their daughter, when they get their daughter married, they tell her, don't give your parents-in-law your gold. Keep it with us. So subhanAllah, it's halal for their daughter and haram for their in-laws, daughter-in-law. This is shocking. This is heinous. And I, I feel great resent to such people who claim to follow the Quran and the Sunnah. If they are from deviant sects, if they don't believe in the Quran and the Sunnah, this is maybe excusable because they've committed so many innovations and bid'ah and they have problems in Tawheed that this would be trivial. But for people who claim to be Salafis or to claim to follow the Quran and the Sunnah and they do such heinous things, Wallahi, I don't know how to explain this. So may Allah Azza wa Jal grant you the patience and may Allah restore your right to uh, uh, you. You can, as any oppressed, make dua against them. This is the only thing you can do. 
you can make dua that Allah Azza wa Jal avenges you from such people who had taken your property unlawfully.